Today, we are gonna to be touching on 10 different bugs inside of Brawl Stars that I feel like have been annoying me quite a lot that haven't been fixed yet. And let me tell you, some of these have been around for months and months and months and still haven't been corrected. Look guys, I feel like the Brawl Stars community as a whole has just gotten used to bugs inside of Brawl Stars to the point where, you know, Brawl Stars is synonymous with bugs. Every single update that comes out in this game has at least a few bugs, right? And I'm sure if you guys are watching this down the line, some of these are going to get patched. I think some of these are actually gonna be patched by the next maintenance break, but some of them, I'm not too sure. This is pretty much a list of the bugs that have been annoying me for quite some time and starting off with a quite petty one, one that is so small but has been around for a long time and it bothers me every single time i see it i'm talking about the one little pixel gap from the profile icon on the brawler select screens not every single brawler has it but is here i swear i think it might be device based yeah, I just took a screenshot over on my other device that I play on from time to time. Here's an example of both. Not that crazy, but you guys can see it. For anyone who has OCD, this is a big issue. And some of the most egregious ones, the ones that are really easy to see, can be the legendary brothers. This crow one has been like this for ages, and it bothers me so freaking much, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Moving along to bug number two, and I gotta say, some of these bugs I feel like just don't get talked about a lot, which is why they're still probably in the game. And this one has been around for a very long time. And I know I am not alone in how annoying it this one is. I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced it, but it has everything to do with Bull's hypercharge and how it interacts with a super. As we all know, one of the key abilities to Bull's super is having a pushback, very, very pivotal to his super and useful. But when you're in your hypercharge state, you go right through the thing, dude. <laughs> There's no pushback whatsoever. I mean, come on, man. It literally takes away one of the fundamental characteristics to Bull's super, right? Delaying some damage or knocking back an individual, disrupting an attack animation like Frank's. And yeah, it's literally a downside to his super ability, which is what the hypercharge is meant to boost up. It is so annoying and it's been around since Bull has gotten his hypercharge a few updates ago, so a couple months. Our next two bugs are quite similar. One is affecting the brand new brawler that was just recently added to the game, Melody. And I gotta say, it's actually a pretty dang devastating bug here. For some reason, there's a very strange interaction when it comes to Melody's super and the auto-aim function, you know, the spam, the spam. <laughs> Here's a perfect example of this Melody glitch from a post over here on Reddit. As you can see, we demonstrate using a super. If you use your super, then spam auto-aim, use super twice. Now, I don't think it needs that much explanation as to why this is an issue, seeing that Melody's dash is so dang long and it's pivotal to her character. Wasting a super can really make you end up overextending to a place you don't want to go and just wasting a super. But I know another one we have all experienced here playing Brawl Stars, Sam's super glitch. And this one is incredibly, incredibly annoying for our number four bug here on the list. So taking a look at the example of Sam, glitch that has been in the game since he's been here basically we can see this individual on reddit also doing it here again really similar to the melody super glitch so as you can see tim is going and grabbing the knuckles spamming auto aim and then it just launches out a super look when you're playing sam and your knuckle busters go somewhere where you don't want it to be it could be horrible for him he's basically useless when he's not fast and he doesn't have his knuckle busters and no supercharged right you just basically die and and if you're not useful for your team in those instances, it can be a huge issue and a bug that's pivotal to the game. But moving along to our fifth bug here that I'm assuming is going to be fixed very, very soon, but it has everything to do with one of the coolest skins to come out in this most recent update, the skins for Buzz, the Brawl Pass skins. <laughs> we got a gem, it, dude. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh, getting our very first one here. Not too bad. I think I like the black one. Yeah, this one is looking sick. Let's go, dude. That one's dope, dude. The purple as well. Yep, that's my favorite. And we'll get this one just 
for the fun of it. For a character as popular as Buzz, it's an understatement saying that people were excited about these skins, right? But the bug in question is there's no audio whatsoever for these skins. The audio is missing when you're basic attacking. I'm just gonna turn it up for you guys so you can hear it in its entirety. Have a listen. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's super minor, but super lackluster to one of the highlight skins for this update. People get it and there's just no audio whatsoever. It's so strange. Moving along to number six, this one is so small and not that game breaking or anything like that, but I noticed it as soon as Spike's hypercharge was released. Spike's basic attack and his skin that he's utilizing interacts with the hypercharge in a very bizarre way. When we use our basic attack, we have the cartoon spike effects to the basic attack. But when we pop our hypercharge, it goes away. We just have our normal cactus bomb. <laughs> very strange. Our super is also affected by this, not getting the cool cartoon super effect. It just goes to the default spike animations of his skin. Moving along to number seven, I am lumping together two different brawlers that are affected by this bug because I believe it is just functioning as the same exact bug that is affecting both of them the same way. And that is one of the most frustrating bugs I've come across in quite some time. I've raged a lot because of this, but that is the Miko and Kit auto aiming at their super bug. I have to be honest, I was more affected by the Miko bug. This one has happened to me way more than the Kit one. Admittedly, I play Miko a bit more, but thanks to you guys, when I first announced the Miko bug on my channel, you guys let me know that it was also affecting Kit. Here is a perfect example of the Miko bug. Oh my gosh, there's so much rage caused by this. But if you spam auto aim after your super, you can't attack once you land. Even if you have full ammo, it doesn't work. See, he's still spamming his auto aim. Nothing's happening. Still spamming, still spamming, still spamming. It's not working for this long. I didn't know it ever, it didn't work for this long. Normally you just die within seconds because you're super vulnerable. It's so bad for Miko because once you land on an individual, you gotta be on your toes attacking immediately or getting away immediately. You're just a sitting duck if you land right on top of someone. They're gonna kill you in a second. And this has been affecting Miko since he's been released. So there's been several maintenance breaks and this hasn't been corrected yet. So a bug I hope gets fixed very soon. And the same exact thing happens to Kit when you exit a super, basically grappling onto someone and you're in your lobbing form. Once you get off it, sometimes you can spam auto aim and it doesn't attack for a few seconds. So pretty dang similar to Miko's. Moving along to number eight, seeing that we just talked about Kit, might as well bring up another bug that is affecting him. This one I wasn't super aware of until it was brought to my attention from someone in my YouTube comments. But if you are a duo showdown fanatic, which Kit is quite decent in, mind you, the way his first star power interacts with the power cubes is really bizarre in this game mode. As you guys can see, power hungry, Kit gains 200% power from each power cube. So if you pick up a power cube, with the star power, you do more damage. However, the bug is when you're playing in Duo Showdown and your teammate picks up a power cube, technically, if your teammate has two power cubes he picks up, you also have two power cubes, but it doesn't interact with the power cubes that your teammate picked up which I definitely think is a bug just based off the verbiage here. It doesn't state when Kit picks up a power cube. It's just Kit gains 200% power from each power cube, which should be applied to duo showdown power cubes that your teammate picks up. It's a really frustrating star power because it's super good in showdown situations, right? Moving along to number nine here, a bug that we highlighted just about three weeks ago at the point that I'm recording this video that is still ravaging ranked. Now this bug is definitely teetering on a line. It's hard to say whether or not this is a purposeful function of the game or it's a bug, but that is whenever you switch with a teammate on your team that if they want to play a brawler that you pick and you have an under leveled brawler, you can still switch even if you don't meet the level requirements for said brawler. Here's a few examples from the video that we shared where there was a power level six Miko and Bell on the team. <laughs> Pretty dang devastating and ranked. And my personal favorite, dude. <laughs> 
Dude, this one's so bad. Macy, a power level one on a team, dude. They wouldn't have a chance. No chance at all. Now, the reason I'm questioning whether or not this is a bug or not is this was a function in Power League before they changed it to rank. However, in Power League, there is no rule designed around a specific power level that you have to be in order to play that brawler in ranked. So it was used as a way for like trolling and stuff like that. So I believe they remedied that situation with the new rules that rank has. But <laughs> you can still get around it with underleveled brawlers. That is huge, especially seeing that most people that you're going up to have power level nine or above. So if you have a power level one it is just like useless and you lose. And the final bug happening right now currently in Brawl Stars has to do with the newest BB skin, Thor BB. Now, I believe this is also affecting the other BB models, just BB in general, but I think it's the most egregious with the Thor BB skin. But that is the lineups for her super are very, very off. If we line up here wanting to go and hit those mouse robots and we let it rip, as you can see, it is way, way off, dude. <laughs> I think it was just recently figured out that this was happening to BB, but definitely a mistake. And you know, I have to say, there's been times where I've tried to line up BB's bubble and I felt betrayed by the lineup. So this has been happening for a long time, but just kind of addressed here because I think of the Thor BB skin, letting it rip. Yeah like way off man but that is our list here today again i'm guessing a lot of these are going to be fixed within a most recent update or the next maintenance break but it makes you question things seeing that some of these have been in the game for a really long time much like that sam glitch it's been more than years i don't know years how long has it been since sam has been in the game so yeah man hope you found this video enjoyable if you did make sure to slap a like on it i appreciate that and we'll be talking super soon adios and take care